Maybe not. Put her there. <sighs> I wanna fly high so I can reach the highest of all the heavens. I placed the first beam, but I made the best offer. For four generations. That is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgard currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. Well, Happy, this is your fault. Mine? You're deranged, woman. Hark, good folk. Be it known, Matilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic. Doesn't look cursed to me. Just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly, how would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? A witcher. So no expert, I guess. But it doesn't take an expert to see when a woman's angry. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you speak the truth, brother. Wait, did you say witcher? Not seeking work, are you? Y you see, I wish to buy a vineyard. Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home, at Coronata. What kind of troubles are we talking about? Ah, uh, it's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium, infested with monsters. My steward, gone missing, with an entire transport of wine. Uh, and someone's abducted my herbalist. A lot of bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. A sugar-sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. S so will you help? Sure sounds like work for a witcher. Yeah, I'll help. I am really, truly grateful. Thank you. My vineyard lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. You're a witcher, yes? I heard you talking to that oafish ogre, Liam. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with a dashing gaze. The fair face. Then reveals a cold black heart. But that's all besides the point. I stopped you because I want to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. <clears throat> Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my box. Several sticks. My cooper and blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating plants have sprouted on my paths, and strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgard. Would you help me before you help Liam? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. I can help. Please try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. I shall stay here for a time. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is turned. Gotcha. Farewell.
Fletcher. That can only mean trouble. At your service, Richard. land is It's true. Each time I come here, I shoot I've entered the whole forest. Most amusingly, the locals believe all that. Oh! Am so I invisible? The giant, which the night they call Eon Slew, they claim it was cut. Eon will do anything to impress a woman. Mm. Oh. Bugger it all! again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Self didn't kill him, bled to death afterwards. Hmm. What have we got here? No chance this letter will. Notes clear. Someone's out to sabotage Coronada. Shame I don't know who. Though I could still find out if I keep looking. Some red is a man whose wife's like to thump his head.
in search of herbs for a new flavored wine. Well, suddenly... Calm down. It's over. The bank titlers kidnapped me. In hopes of collecting a ransom, I'm sure. But with Master Liam's troubles, he never could have paid them. Ah, but I'm free and safe, thanks to you. Should you need any herbs, I have a hearty stock at the Coronata. Will you work me there? Lead the way, right behind you. Here we are, once again. I thank you for the rescue. Wish to look over my stock? Master Liam doesn't seem a diligent proprietor. He tries as best he can. It's not his fault our vineyard suffered plague upon plague. Plagues? What kind? Well, the enormous yellow man-eating sun juice, for instance. You cannot set foot into the brush for fear of coming out a head shorter. Show me what you got. Thanks. See you later.
I owe you my life, unknown knight. How are you dubbed? Dubbed Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. My thanks, Sir Geralt. The Scallywags thought to demolish our herb garden, you see. I thought I shall take a hum, scare the rubble off, but to my great chagrin, there were too many, and I, I failed. Ah, there's no use crying over spilt wine. Come with me to Vormentino. I'll patch up your armor or pound the anvil to fulfill some other need you might have. Go ahead. I'll stop by when I'm in the area. Take it easy.
Rose, Count Crespi's behind the sabotage at both vineyards. Gotta tell Matilda and Liam. Arcus four saplings? Takes a degenerate to cultivate something like this. Need to incinerate them before they spew spores and spores. Master Witcher, have you any news? This vineyard, Belgard, why is it so valuable? <laughs> you are not from here, it certainly shows. Before Count Crespi fell prey to the beast, Belgard belonged to him. As a man of wealth and influence, he guided it to immense success, brought in rare grape varieties, hired skilled workers. I shan't trouble you with unnecessary details. Suffice to say that merging Belgard with another vineyard is a sure recipe for success. One and the same man caused Coronada's and Vermentino's problems. Got proof. A certain Count Crespi. He's at the root of it all. What, Crespi? Belgard's erstwhile owner? Why, that's impossible. Got it all here, in writing. He did indeed have motive. He knew well his own vineyard could not survive if Vermentino and Coronata were to join forces. Probably why he incited the feud. Pulled it off, too, mostly. Just failed to bring his plan to completion when the beast got him. Incredible. You mean to say it... it wasn't Liam? And I was certain my troubles were Matilda's doing. <clears throat> In light of new evidence, uh... The most just resolution would be for both injured parties to share oversight of Belgard. Wait just a minute. Do you mean to suggest we're to cooperate? It's the optimal solution, yes. In terms of the health of the Enterprise as well. Hmm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do believe he's right. Perhaps it is time to bury the hatchet. Three vineyards are more than one. There's much to be gained. So be it. That's not all. The troubles at your vineyards? Solve them. You can go back to operating normally now. Splendid news. I'm relieved to see you hired a professional, especially one whose aid might still prove invaluable. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Follow me. It's high time you saw Belgard. Witcher, come with us, please. Something tells me we'll have tasks for you yet. Let's go. <clears throat> My desire for Belgard to pass into capable hands was no idle whim, for the vineyard's fallen upon hard times since its previous owner's demise. I've been told of workers dying on their rounds, monsters prowling about. Before anyone can call this home, they will have to deal with these um, inconveniences. That is the minister's wish. More work for me, I guess. If you're willing. We'll gladly accept your help. I can help, sure, but I won't work for free. Too much, definitely too much. bit less? Is that out of the question? A bit less? Is that out of the question? A bit less? Is that out of the question? Fine. We 
have a deal. More or less already agreed, I guess. Oh, that's a weight off my chest, I must say. Your reward shall be fair, I promise. I'll get to work. on your back. Help us! Look, monsters all about! up if I want to get rid of the Endrigas. again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Let's go!
centipede spawning ground. Should destroy it. Come on now. Thank you, sir. Were it not for you, well, those bandits were not pulling pranks. I could pound some new steel for you in gratitude, but I must first return to my workshop in Belgard. Let's go. No time to lose. I thank you again for your aid. Care to glance at my wares? What were you doing in the Caraberta woods? And how'd you wind up a prisoner of those bandits? Ever since the Count died, I've not had the resources to buy raw materials, meaning no new barrel hoops, no tools. So I mustered a few lads and went into the woods to scavenge. A great deal of scrap to be had in those elfin ruins. If you don't mind digging, folks say the place is haunted, but I've no fear of elfin ghosts. A rational man. Rational or superstitious, it matters not. The point is, I did not see a single ghost. Yet a Hansa, yes, that we ran into. Though it seems I've more luck than sense, because you came along to save me. 
Show me what you have. See ya. Tended to Belgard's problems, Vineyard should be in as good a shape as ever. Splendid. And thus, officially, by the power vested in me, I grant you title to the Belgard Vineyard, and trust that you shall make good use of its grounds and resources. Excellent. Ah, I can already smell the grapes ripening into sun. We shan't forget what you did for us. Here. Your pay. But that's not all. You must come back and see us shortly. We've a surprise in store for you. I'll do that. Farewell. Wonks, sluggards, skyers. Praise to the grapes in whose effluent richness we drown. Witcher, a word. <laughs> We've got something for you. It will only take a moment, I promise. Stock send the whip away we those running riot. We oh, Witcher, greetings. Kind of you to come. Matilda and I, we've a surprise for you. Hmm. You two seem to be getting along. We are. There came a point we realized we had no grounds to quarrel. Things became altogether pleasant. And a bit spicy. Romantic. Quite. Got it. Needn't say more. Glad things are going well for you. What's the surprise? Some new monster I need to kill? No, something far more pleasant. We've produced a wine. According to the best sommeliers, it might just dethrone Estes. We owe this success to you. So, if you'd agree... We'd like to name it after you. What shall we call it? Why not White Wolf? Wild, with character. It fits perfectly. If you wouldn't mind, we'd like to send a few bottles to your home every so often. I'd be honored. Thanks. No, we thank you. Take care, Witcher. It's a peculiar cross between a loose woman and a scholar, which is to say, he's a plowing know-it-all. Thank you.